Welcome to Imaging at Olympic Park. This new state-of-the-art medical imaging and treatment facility has been optimized for diagnosing and treating conditions of the musculoskeletal system. This video will briefly explain what we do for a CT-guided nerve root or epidural injection. What we do. There are many ways to treat conditions of the musculoskeletal system. Your doctor has recommended a CT-guided nerve root or epidural injection. This involves the injection of cortisone and local anesthetic around the spinal nerves, either inside or as they leave the vertebral column. Cortisone is a powerful anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving medication that has been used to treat patients successfully for many years. Why we do it. Nerve root and epidural injections are performed to relieve leg and back pain. The procedure will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. We use CT scanning to accurately assess the state of the vertebral column and to accurately deliver the injection. Our CT scanner has 64 slices to optimize the anatomy. Precise delivery of cortisone will maximize its effect and avoid any potential complications. How we do it. Our radiographer or nurse will pull you through to the CT section of the department where you may be asked to change into a gown but leaving your undergarments on. Our nurse will ask some questions regarding your medical history and possible allergies. Discuss the risks and possible complications. Complications of a CT-guided nerve root and epidural injection are uncommon, but do include bruising, infection, and local soft tissue injury. Temporary leg weakness can occur, but this almost always resolves by the following day. Loss of bladder control is unusual. Rarely, the spinal cord and nerve roots can become injured as a consequence of the injection. Headache is a recognized complication in 1-2% to of patients that have an epidural injection. If you agree to go ahead with the procedure, then you'll be asked to sign a consent form. A CT scan is a safe and painless examination. You'll be asked to lie flat on your tummy on the CT table. The table moves through the donut-like hole of the CT scanner while an X-ray beam rotates around your body. A computer then manipulates this data to form an anatomical image. These images are then used to assess the sacroiliac joint anatomy and plan for a needle placement. The doctor trained in CT-guided sacroiliac joint injections will be called upon to perform the procedure in a safe and careful way. He will clean the skin before carefully placing a needle alongside the nerve by passing it through the bony coverings of the spine. The radiographer may take several pictures using the CT scanner along the way. The injection will almost always involve the administration of local anaesthetic. Cortisone is then injected and there may be temporary discomfort passing down into the leg. Infection control is important to us and we make sure the procedure is done with a sterile technique. Our facility and technique are compliant with and have been approved by the Department of Health Services. After my injection. After the injection, you'll be taken to the recovery section and attended to by our nurse for a minimum of one hour. You'll be given a drink and something to eat. You will not be allowed to drive home and you will need to make arrangements for someone to pick you up. It is recommended that patients rest comfortably for the rest of the day and not engage in physical activity for the following 48 hours. The local anaesthetic can last for up to eight hours. Patients often feel numbness or heaviness. When anaesthetic wears off, symptoms may return until the cortisone becomes effective. The cortisone can take up to seven days to work. It is also important to follow your doctor's instructions also regarding your rehabilitation program and follow-up. Complications are uncommon, but should they occur, please contact Imaging at Olympic Park, your referring doctor or general practitioner. Thank you for attending Imaging at Olympic Park. We hope your CT-guided nerve root or epidural injection is successful. Remember, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.